While Haiti's political crisis plays out, more than a million people are now on the brink of famine. That's coming from the World Food Programme, which is struggling to feed them. It's a losing battle because the country, and especially the capital, are cut off from outside supplies. Uh, Port-au-Prince is essentially in a bubble. The roads in and out of Port-au-Prince have been uh, controlled by armed groups for a long time. These past few days, the ports have been closed and uh, there have been no incoming flights. And we're seeing food prices rise. We're seeing uh, scarcity uh, of some food items. Gangs are in control of vast swathes of the capital. It's them choking off the entryways. They've been doing it for years but it's escalated in recent weeks as they've clamoured for Prime Minister Ariel Henry to quit. Now he says he'll go as soon as an interim Prime Minister is named. But as that political crisis plays out, people are struggling to provide for their families. Duchere Reginald lives in Sansville, one of the poorer parts of the capital. They've been especially affected by food shortages. The problem of hunger is very difficult for me and for all Haitians. I live with five children as well as my mother, all of whom I take care of and feed every day. It's no small matter. This is the worst experience in life. We live in a country where people's rights are not respected. Haitian children especially are at risk. Even before the recent escalation in violence, one in four suffered from chronic malnutrition. And the World Food Programme says it's now running through its reserves. Once those give out, things could get worse. The children in Port-au-Prince, the most vulnerable part of the population, are at great, greatest risk. Uh, in the commune of uh, Croix de Bouquet in Port-au-Prince, you've got malnutrition rates that are as high as they are, they are in, in war zones. <laughs> the hope of some is that once a transition government's established, the country can reopen and supplies can get where they need to be. But that appears to depend as much on the gangs as the politicians. A powerful, unpredictable force in the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. John Holman, Al Jazeera, the Dominican Republic. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.